laryngomalacia. So here the pathophysiology is nothing but there is increased laxity of the supraglottic structures. Next, looking at the clinical presentation or the clinical features, it includes the inspiratory strider and this it worsens when supine and crying as well as in case of feeding and it increases or improves in cases of the prone position next clinical presentation laryngomalacia it begins in the neonatal period and looking at the peak of the age it peaks around the 4 to 8 months and it resolves by the age of 12 to 18 months next looking at the diagnosis it is flexible laryngoscopy and it shows collapse or supraglottic structures and with inspiration and omega shaped worsening epiglottis now looking at the management of laryngomalacia it is basically reassurance in case of most of the cases or supra glottoplasty and this is for severe symptoms example you can say weight gain poor weight gain or apnea or sinuses or worsening of strider